What's up, everybody? Welcome to Razaketh, Razokrats. I hope you're excited to get some, uh, sacrifice some creatures. Don't want to throw the YouTube algorithms off, so, uh, politely put them into the graveyard in exchange for some Blood Artist triggers. I think that's the correct terminology. Uh, let's go and get the swamp down. Let's go for Expedition Map. Man, I like this opening hand, too. Looks pretty good. Get down Expedition Map, and then we're going to go and pass the turn. Let's see what our opponent said. Hey, awesome! That's always fun to get to meet people in here. I always enjoy that. That's always uh, really enjoyable. Uh, we are playing Razaket, the Foul-Blooded. Uh, flying and Trample. Pay two life. Sacrifice another creature. Search your library for a card and put that card into your hand. Then shuffle your library. Playing against Prosh. Um, draw the Zulaport Cutthroat. Let's go ahead and get down the Swamp. And we'll see exactly what we want to go. We do have Reign of Filth. If we want to go for Ancient Tomb, we'll get down the Yehini. We can get down Zulaport. I think I like, um, yeah, let's see. If we go Expedition Coffers, yeah, let's do that. Let's go Expedition Coffers. I, I kind of like that. I think anything else, no, we're going to go and pass the turn to our opponent. Uh, we are playing against Prosh. Uh, flying whenever you cast Prosh, uh, creates X-01 Kobold creature tokens, uh, where X is the amount of mana spent to cast Prosh. Prosh, excuse me, uh, sacrificing another creature. Prosh gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. All right. And then we cover both commanders. It's free time. We can talk about whatever we want. It is commander time. But yes, welcome to Razaketh, Razocrats. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm loving playing Razaketh. It's, oh, dang it. I forgot to go for the exhibition map. Uh, let's go and get the uh, Westfell Abbey down. What we can do is we can Grim Tutor for Urborg. And then Coffers. Yeah, I like that. Sorry about that. Sometimes I get um, get a little wrapped up in commentary, and that happens. And it's unfortunate. I don't like it, but um, it does happen sometimes. I'm just going to go for Grim Tutor on the Urborg, and then we can use the Expedition Map for the Coffers. That way we'll start, hopefully start generating some good chunk of mana. Grab Urborg. There we go. Anything else, we're going to go and pass the turn. But yes, this is Razaketh Razocrats. What are we looking to do with Razaketh? We're looking to get a lot of mana really quick onto the battlefield. Um, surprisingly, Black has a lot of ways to ramp really quick. Uh, we have Magus at the Coffers. Uh, we have Crypt Ghast. We have Narcana. Um, we also have fun stuff like Reign of Filth until end of turn. Um, we can sack our lands to add mana to our mana pool if we need to go off with Razaketh in a turn or something like that. So, um... We're looking to generate a lot of mana really quick and kind of go for that. Heroes Downfall. Okay. Let's go ahead and crack the, um, we're going to get down Urborg, crack the Expedition map anyways. It's going to be four. We can go for Yehini, but uh, we'll just go and wait on our opponent's turn. If we're going to go for Heroes Downfall, we can, and I will remember this time to go for the Expedition map crack. Uh, that way we can get it on the battlefield and start uh, kind of tapping that coffers and having some fun. But yeah, so we're also going to use Razaket to kind of start searching, uh, searching up ways for us to win with an Aristocrat's win. Um, we have different ways to do that. Um, we have s uh, stuff like Songs of the Damned, which is a really cool card. Uh, one mana black instant. Uh, add black mana to your mana pool for each creature card in your graveyard. Uh, so what we can do is we can kind of use, let's say we developed a really nice board state or we went for something like Living Death. Um, in response to the Living Death, we can cast that Songs of the Damned, add that mana to our mana pool, uh, search up something like uh, Rise of the Dark Realms to kind of bring everything back onto the battlefield just a lot of fun a lot of fun stuff to kind of do with Razaketh and plus I absolutely love 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 playing aristocrats it's my favorite uh, archetype to play let's go and crack the expedition map this time go for that uh, coffers that way we can start generating some extra mana off that there we go grab the coffers it goes into the hand and then we draw into another swamp let's go and get the coffers down so that will be actually five swamps we can go for so let's tap out for two swamps it's gonna be five total mana let's go for Magus and then let's go ahead and um, it's going to be black and then black. We'll go and go for Zulaport Cutthroat. Get that down. And then we're going to go and pass the turn. We'll see exactly what we're going to search up. Um, it does help that we have Reign of Filth into the graveyard. Uh, usually one of the targets we're going to search up with Razakat is going to be the uh, Sanguine. Sang Singar, I can't, I can't remember his name, Autocrat. Um, he enters the battlefield four mana. We get three Surf tokens onto the battlefield. So that's a really good way for us to kind of keep that... Uh, Keep Razakep active and happy with those um, those uh, tutor activations. And then outside of that, we also have um, the um, the Snake Mancer. I can't remember his full name, but we're going to get a one one snake token uh, at the beginning of each um, I think each upkeep or something like that. If one died. If you don't have a snake token, we get a snake token. So that's another good way to kind of keep Razaketh going. But yeah, name of the game is to kind of start sacrificing a bunch of creatures. You can see we've got cards like Zulaport Cutthroat. Uh, we get those Blood Artist triggers going. Um, target opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Uh, so it's a good way for us to uh, 
kind of close the game out. And then also, this will be like the third week in a row where, um, <laughs> third week in a row where I've, uh, I've done Razaket like on a Thursday. So and I'll kind of, once we get our turn going, I'll kind of explain what uh, we got going on with that. All right, opponent goes for Terminate on Magus of the Coffers, which is completely understandable. Uh, makes sense. Ooh, Songs of the Damned. Um, we've got one creature card in the graveyard at this point right now. Let's go ahead and get these Swamp down. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Tap for six. Um... Then we can go for Razaketh, maybe, since they already use that. It's going to be 6, 7, 8, 9. This should be just enough for Razaketh. Yeah, I think I'd like that. Let's go Razaketh. Worst case scenario, um, 1, 2, 3... Yeah, I like getting Razaket down. We can get a little bit of a clock going. Uh, Reign of Filth, sack some swamps. Uh, no, no, we'll go ahead and just pass the turn. Um, so we do have the Zulaport Cutthroat. We kind of need to figure out what we need to search up with Zulaport Cutthroat. Um, if Razaket sticks around until next turn, what we can do is we can sacrifice Zulaport Cutthroat. That goes to the graveyard. We can go for Buried Alive to find a little bit better of a sack outlet. Um, Yehini's a good sack outlet. The only thing is you can't sacrifice Yehini to itself. And so um, that is a sack outlet we can go for. But we'll kind of see what we want to go for. We do have Insidious Dreams in here too. That's another way for us to, let's say that we do need the sack outlet in the hand. We can search that up, use that mana to kind of discard some of the cards in our hand. Going for Razaketh. All right, that's fair enough. Let's go and pay two life. Let's search for, um, actually, I know what we can do in response. So let's go and sacrifice the Zulaport Cutthroat. We're not going to have a creature, but we can go for it next turn. Yeah, I like that. We'll sacrifice Zulaport. <sighs> They're going to lose a life. We're going to gain a life. Search our library for a card. We're going to grab Unnatural Stamina. It's going to allow us to... Uh... Yeah, we can go for that. Where are you, Unnatural Stamina? Supernatural Stamina. There we go. That goes into the hand. Let's go ahead and make sure Grazaketh goes to the graveyard instead of the, uh, yep, there we go. Let's go with Supernatural Stamina. That way we're going to get to pop back on the battlefield. If they have another removal spell, so be it. But at least we're going to go ahead and force the issue right now uh, with the Maelstrom Pulse. So whenever it dies, we're going to return back to the battlefield. Oh, Grazaketh said, uh-uh. Hey, let's come back. We got some work to do. I got some aristocrats to go for. Love it. All right. Now, if they have another removal spell, so be it. But um, worst case scenario, we can get down to Yehini, and then we go for the autocrat and start sacking some of our creatures. Oh, they got Chaos Warp. All right. <laughs> At least we get another swamp on the battlefield. We can recast Razaketh. That was a pretty good little little interaction right there. I was like, that's what makes Commander fun right there is, you know, we're getting down to a pretty big creature in Razaketh and our opponents, uh, hey, we got some answers for you. All right. Drawn to Diabolic Intent. Um, let's go ahead and get down Razaketh. That's going to be uh, two... That's going to be seven. How much is Razaketh going to be? One, two, three, four. You need to pay three more. It's going to be one, two, and three. And then, anything else we need to go for? I'm going to get down Razaketh. We'll see if it sticks. <laughs> what else? Coming in hot. That's uh... a. <laughs> So the I say coming in hot a lot, I say it a lot, and um, and one of the the, the reasons that I say it is because during Return to Ravnica pre-release, I was played against this one opponent, and we were playing a game, and it was one of those things where we were kind of serious the whole time, and it got to the combat step. It, it was kind of like nobody was swinging in. We were building up our board states, and then um, he swung in. And he goes, uh, all right, coming in hot. And it was just like the first comedic joke we had made the entire match. And, like, I thought that was so funny that you would have cards just coming in hot. Like, I don't know why. And it's still to this day, it makes me laugh whenever I say it at a Magic tournament. I'm like, all right, coming in hot. And like, you know, if I'm playing at a Star City game event or something like that. But, uh, but yeah, that's where it came from. Some I played somebody at the Return to Ravnica pre-release that said coming in hot. And uh, it stuck forever into my Magic terminology. All right, ooh, drawn to another swamp. That's actually pretty good. All right, so we need to get a creature on the battlefield. Let's go and let's get some stuff going. Let's go for coffers. This is going to be one, two. We got eight men. Let's get down to Yehini. I'd like to get Lightning Greaves on Razaketh. That's what we need to do. Um, let's go ahead and sacrifice another creature. Yeah, we need to do that. Sacrifice Yehini. Let's go and grab. Uh, we need to grab the Autocrat. To get a few more creatures on the battlefield. That's what that's the main issue right now. There we go. <laughs> Cast the autocrat, get those surf tokens on the battlefield. We're gonna use one of those tokens to ser uh, search up uh, lightning greaves. That way we can protect uh, Razaketh. 
Let's go and sacrifice one of these surf tokens. And then, who does this look? It looks like, uh, there's an actor he looks like that always makes me laugh. Where are we? Where are you? Lightning Grease, there we go. Get out Lightning Grease. Tap for black. Let's go ahead and put the Lightning Grease onto Razaketh. That way we get it protected. Now, here's the point. We have Song of the Dam. We have one, two, we have three creature cards into the graveyard. We can sacrifice. That'll be four. Generate a little bit extra mana. I don't think we can exactly... Let's just go and go for Hero's Downfall on Prosh. That way if they want to recast it, they can. And that'll kind of set us up next turn to start digging for some stuff. Alright, we're going to go for Prosh. That way they don't have anything active. Uh, we're going to get rid of those Kobold activations, and then we just have one mana left. Uh, we can still swing in with Razaketh, too, which actually kind of helps us with the Aristocrats. Let's go ahead and push in for 8. Thanks, man. And, uh, good good plays by our opponents, too, with the um, the Chaos Warp, the Pulse, and the Terminate. That was a pretty fun little turn right there. Alright, swinging in for 8. We're going to put our opponent down to 20. And then next turn, we'll kind of figure out what we need to go for. Uh, I'd like to get a few more creature cards into the graveyard, so if we can go for something like um, Living Death, not Living Death, the uh, Buried Alive, we can tutor up Buried Alive off one of the Surf Tokens, and then use the other Surf Token on... Sorry, it's like, um, I play... And that's another thing I was going to explain, is that, um, you know, I always like to kind of put out different decks on my channel. And with Razaketh, this is something that I threw together last minute. Uh, I've been working on the new uh, Exelon Commanders. And I, it's kind of one of those things, when I get into something, I get really into it. I'm like, man, I kind of want to make this work. And that's kind of what happened with Razaketh, is that... Um, with Razaketh, I'm kind of like, hey, I'm kind of starting to like this because I love playing Aristocrats. It's one of it's my favorite archetype to play in Commander. And um, for a while there, like I had Raz I had Aristocrat decks that I would play, but they just didn't really fit the theme. Like I had a Loro Aristocrats, a Loro, which is yeah, it was kind of fun. Um, a Traxa, which didn't really fit the theme with the Traxa. I, I liked her being Beat Sticks, but she didn't really fit in with the Aristocrats theme. And then I ended up building. Um, I think I built another one after that, Aristocrats, a Black Bantu Aristocrats. And so then I finally put Razaketh in here, and I realized, like, I can actually build more of a concentrated Aristocrats deck with Razaketh by having a tutor line that we can search up big mana spells, stuff like Songs of the Damned, um, Reign of Field to kind of go off in a couple different turns to gain control of some stuff those triggers and so um long story short uh, if you've noticed Razaketh coming out every single thursday for the last three weeks um this is why it's kind of like there's a lot of times where i play test for a deck and i'm just kind of going through the ropes and when I, i'm not recording and i have some of the best games that i ever record for um which is like not not that it's bad but it's just one of those things where like i basically i just kind of like i'm getting in practice for Razaketh Razakrats and um hopefully you know like right now this is a fun little match i'm glad i was recording so you know we've gotten to the point now to where our opponent's got a bunch of kobolds out there they've got a lot of mana with the wood elves so either way if we win or lose i've had fun in this game so and that's always fun but yeah main long story short you may see Razaketh Razakrats on a weekly basis until i kind of get the kinks out because uh in fact, as long as I'm playing an Aristocrats deck, it kind of keeps me happy. That's, that's the main thing around here. I love it. All right. And then let's see if our opponent's going for it. They do have some extra mana with the uh, Cryptolith right out there. Ooh, Hypnotist. Okay. Oh, that's a bummer. The only thing is we're going to miss out on Songs of the Damned Reign of Filth. That's a really good way for us to kind of get some good um, get some good stuff going. Some black mana. And they're going to be able to sacrifice in response. Do we need each creature card in our graveyard? Do we just want to cast it? Just to be safe and sack. So let's see. How many creature cards in the graveyard? We've got one, two, three. So we can add that. This can be three mana in our mana pool. There's not really much we can do at instant speed to kind of take care of this. Uh, we're going to miss out on a lot of stuff hitting the bin with them sacking the sadistic. But uh, I think at this point we're okay with that. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Um, we'll go and discard two cards. Yeah, we'll get rid of Diabolic Intent and Reign of Filth. Uh, we still have uh, Bubbling Muck, though. If we want to kind of generate a little bit extra mana, we do. It. We can search up Bubbling Muck. And then, uh, but yeah, so that, that's the only downside to like Reign of Filth and Songs of the Damned is that uh, that's one of our good cards to instant speed kind of go off in one turn. Unfortunately, we had them in the hand, so hey, that happens though sometimes. All right, let's see what we draw into. Um, we can. We need to push in commander damage with Razaketh. What we can do is, um, so we have the Surf token swinging in. So we search up a piece of removal. Take care of Prosh. Swing in for eight. Puts our opponent down to ten. Then we've got uh, Yehini. We've got Zulaport. We got Magus. Uh, we need another kind of redundant piece to go for that. Do we want to get the Swamp down? 
You could go for Deserted Temple off a couple different searches to untap the coffers, generate a lot of mana. So let's say right now, so we autocrat that, that, that. Yeah, let's go and do that. Let's go and sacrifice one of the surf tokens. Let's grab Deserted Temple. I think I like that. If we're going to try and go off, we, we need to do it this turn. Let's grab Deserted Temple. Oh, bummer. All right, so I was supposed to cut Deserted Temple for Baron Moore, and I could have sworn I did, but I didn't, so that's unfortunate. Uh, so at this point right now, what we're going to go and go for is we're going to go for, um, not reanimate, but we're going to go for Buried Alive. Yeah, man, I could have sworn I updated it before the match, so unfortunately stuff like that happens. All right, Buried Alive. Let's go and get down the swamp. You want to kind of push us in right now. Let's go and go for Buried Alive. We have to do it all during this turn, though, if we're going to be swinging in. I think we're okay with that. Let's go and go for Coffers. Yeah, let's go for Coffers. It's going to be 1-2. Let's go and sacrifice the Serve Token. Let's go for Blood Artist, because they're at 18. If we go for... That's going to be 8. Yeah, let's go for... Search another creature. Let's grab Blood Artist. Let's go for Buried Alive. It's going to be 1, 2, 3. Put the three creature cards into the graveyard. It's going to grab a an official sack out. We'll grab Visitor Seer. Uh, Zula Port's already into the graveyard. We grab Ogre... Actually, if we grab the Pawn of Ulamog, we can bring that back. Pawn of Ulamog, and that's going to really amplify it out. And if we go Massacre Worm, Living Death, yeah, we'll grab that. Put those into the graveyard. Let's cast Zulaport. I mean, excuse me, cast Blood Artist. And let's go ahead and sacrifice... Sacrifice the Blood Artist to get into the graveyard? I think that sounds good. Sorry, I'm trying to do this all in my head at once right now. They're going to lose one, we're going to gain one. Draw another card. Two drop something with uh, with Razaketh. And let's go and grab a Living Death on this one. I think if we bring back the Massacre Worm, minus two, it's going to take care of all the Kobolds. It's going to kind of knock Prosh down a little bit. Um, they will have to start sacrificing in response to that. And then whatever, it, yeah. Yeah, it's still going to get that minus two trigger. So let's go and grab that Living Death right now. There we go. Let's go for Living Death. And we don't want to act them to activate this Sadistic in response to this. So we're going to go for it right now. We're going to be able to bring back Massacre Worm. If they want to sacrifice in response to that, they can. Uh, but we're going to go and push the uh, push the Living Death right now. Because we're going to be able to bring those creatures back. Once Massacre Worm comes out, they're going to have to sacrifice it. Uh, worst case scenario, we're going to have Zulaport and Blood Artists out there. And then we can kind of get some stuff going from there. Sorry, some of this, the, the tutor lines we're trying to go for, and the fact that our opponent has Sadistic Hypnotist out there, um, that they could sack a creature, target player, discards two cards. So some of those tutors we could have gone for, um, it kind of happened like that, where I was like, eh, not the best. All right, so we get down the Massacre Worm. Yeah, it's one of those things where I just kind of, uh, kind of overthought it for a second on accident. All right, so we're going to get the Wood Elves trigger. They have Sadistic. We have no creature cards. And then let's see what we want to go for. We're going to be able to push in with Yehini, too. We'll see if they offer up any blocks. I'm just get minus one, minus, uh, excuse me, minus two, minus two until end of turn. So we're going to get a Blood Artist trigger. Get the Blood Artist trigger up top. We have the Massacre Worm. They're going to lose two life, lose two life. Then we'll have a couple triggers on Yehini, which is going to allow us to kind of push in like that one. We'll go and auto yield to this. Yeah, so that's going to be, um, get the triggers on there. Massacre Worm down to 13. Blood Artist down to 11. Get the Surf Tokens onto the battlefield. Um, let's go ahead and push in with uh, Yehini, swinging in for four. Yeah, that earlier, that's what it was. I kind of like paused for a second because I realized I didn't set it up correctly. I, did, I didn't anticipate the uh, Hypnotist out there. So swinging in four is going to put our opponent down to seven, and then we'll have enough creatures between the Zulaport and the, uh, and the Viserseer and Zulaport to kind of go and close it out. There we go. I could have done that a little bit cleaner, to be perfectly honest. I could have done that a little bit cleaner, but uh, that happens sometimes. And with Pawn of Ulamog, we're going to get a nice amplifying effect on these uh, aristocrats. Always yield to that. Always yield to the Pawn of Ulamog. <laughs> that way you get the extra creature on the battlefield to sacrifice it. Let's go and activate Viscerous here again on the Eldrazi spawn token. It's going to be Zulaport up top. Blood Artist up top. Put them down to 4. We go to 23. Oh, dang it. I don't need to scribe. Rise of the Dark Realms. But yeah. This is fun. I love playing Aristocrats. It's always uh, makes for an interesting match for sure. <laughs> get the Blood Arch. Hey, good game. Enjoyed it. Good game. Definitely enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, get the Pot of Ulamog trigger on there. Zulaport, Viscera Seer, 
put that on the bottom, and then we'll go ahead and uh, sacrifice Viscera Seer on the Eldrazi spawn to go ahead and close it out from there. There we go. Made a, it was a little clunky getting to that win. I do apologize. Like, Razaket's in the graveyard. Razaket should have gone back to the command zone. But uh, sometimes if you, if you build a deck that goes fast enough, sometimes you don't need breaks, and you can just kind of cross the finish line and kind of skid across the finish line. And that's what we did. Skidding across the finish line still counts as going across the finish line. So I'll take it. Aristocrats win right there. So if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.